so I'm with a great gray owl. Uh, I came out here an hour-ish ago, something like that, and it was raining like crazy, but I wanted to go out and uh, go for a hike. So I just grabbed one lens. I grabbed my D850 and a 300 f4, which is an awesome combination. I love that lens for hiking around. Uh, and just started cruising around out here in the rain. Got lucky in two different ways. Uh, first way I got lucky was that I found an owl. And it was still raining when I found the owl. And I was able to kind of tuck up underneath a tree and make some photos of it. And that was nice. I didn't have a, any video gear with me or anything. Um, but then it stopped raining. And... So at that point, I decided to roll the dice and leave the owl and run back to the car. So I hauled ass back to the car to come grab a bigger lens and my backpack and the video gear so I could come out and make a little video today. So that's what I'm doing now. I just got back out here and found the owl. It, is, it's, it had moved from where I left it before, but it's within, I don't know, 50 yards of it was when I left it. And there's a bird that is harassing it uh, that's causing all kinds of noise. It just stopped, luckily. But that bird's been kind of flying by and giving it a hard time. So it must have a nest nearby. And it doesn't want this owl to raid the nest. But so I just kind of followed that noise around until I found the owl. But anyway, the owl's right here. And um, hopefully it starts hunting. Uh, the light in here is fantastic right now. It's that bright overcast. The storm just kind of cleared out and it smells so good in here. Uh, I wish you could smell what it's, well, you know what it smells like in a wet forest in the springtime. It's just magical. Uh, and the light's magical too. Everything's super saturated, like, you know, just green, real super vibrant green uh, everywhere you look. So it's a perfect setup to come out and make some nice images. Uh, hopefully the owl cooperates. It already has. Uh, I'd love to get some nice action stuff of hunting, um, but I got some nice uh, perches already. So it's already been excellent, and um, I don't know. I got an hour and a half left in the day. So I'm hopeful that something good will happen out here, and it already has happened. So it looks like the rain's done for the night, too. Um, Anyway, so I'm going to just I'm gonna hang out and enjoy the owl and enjoy mostly how good it smells out here. Unbelievably good. Here we are, tripod and lens, and owl over here. So I'm hoping the owl won't fly while I'm looking this way into the camera. But the owl is on this tree right here. It's kind of hard for me to see. You can see it moving right now. It's preening over there. So you should be able to see that, right? But man, does that thing blend in well or what? They're so cool. <laughs> Their camouflage is amazing because they'll blend in with like that color tree or they'll blend in with this color tree. They'll blend in with aspen trees. They're just master camouflage. So it's super cool to watch them. Uh, I'm hopeful that this preening will lead shortly to an awakening, kind of an activity where it wants to get up and start hunting. So that would be awesome. The light is getting even better. The sun's starting to break through the clouds a little bit after that uh, thunderstorm rolled through, made everything just wet and beautiful. So everything's lining up here for some, some good photography. Of course, you never know what's going to happen, but this owl, if it starts hunting, it gives me some good opportunities, and I don't blow it. It could be a really great evening. I mean, it's already a great evening, just being out here and finding an owl, and I have made a few good images already, but I love it. It just keeps, the setup keeps getting better and better. So, hopefully it continues that way.
did you notice that it's summertime? You can't tell from the weather and you can't tell from the clothes that I'm wearing because I'm all bundled up because it's pretty cold and it was raining hard earlier and it got cold and I got a little bit wet so I'm a little bit chilly. But look, I shaved off the winter beard. So that's how you know it's summer. I'm happy about that. I love summer. So today I brought out, when I went back to my car after finding the owl, I brought out the Nikon D850 with the Sigma 120 to 300 f2.8. And uh, I chose this lens because at the time I went back to the car, it was still really dark and stormy. And so I really wanted the uh, f2.8 and it's a wonderful lens. It's a, it's a great versatile lens for being in the forest here with an owl. It's kind of tight quarters. I like being able to zoom in and out. And uh, in the darkness, you can't beat that 2.8. Uh, so it's a great owl lens for me. And uh, it's just, it's heavy. Other than that, well, and the zoom ring goes backwards for a Nikon shooter. But um, great combination. So that's what I'm shooting with today. Settings wise, they're gonna change. The light is changing second by second out here. But right now I'm shooting at ISO 800 F 3.5. Uh, aperture priority at minus one on exposure compensation. And I'm kinda, I'll lock that exposure in if it looks like it's about to fly. And that's given me around a 16 hundredth of a second, which is tons of, uh, which is tons of shutter speed for flight shots for this owl. So it should be perfect. All right, while I'm waiting, while the owl's just hanging out, how about a lesson for the day? Uh, that's probably a good thing to do. I just got to think of one real quick here. What's my lesson of the day? Um, bring a snack when you go hiking and doing photography. Do they have our snack? Oh, these are the best. Power Crunch Bar. Mm, the triple chocolate is my favorite one. They're delicious. Uh, it's a good bar. They're... Um, High protein, high fat, and low carb. Relatively low carb. So 13 grams of fat, 14 grams of protein, and only eight grams of carbs. Uh, and they taste great, at least in my opinion. And my opinion is what it's worth, which isn't a whole lot. Uh, but anyway, bring a snack, because uh, it's easier to be patient like this when you're not hungry so all right that works that, that started out as a pretty poor tip but relating it back to photography I think worked out for the best there you can definitely be more patient when you uh, aren't starving that's your lesson for the day
this might be over. So uh, the owl got a little active there, flew to a few different perches, acted like it was going to hunt, didn't catch anything, then flew up there and closed its eyes. So I'm going to hang out uh, for just a few more minutes and see if it kind of gets a second wind. <laughs> And if it doesn't, then I'm going to get out of here. So it clouded back up. And it's starting to get dark-ish. So uh, if he doesn't wake up in the next 10 or 15 minutes, uh, this will be it for today. And uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. So um, let's see. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's always nice to get some new subscribers. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like it. If you didn't like it, send me a message why. Uh, anyway, have a good night. I'm going to try to have a good night, and I know this I know this guy will have a good night. Because for an owl, the night time is the right time. Oof, on that note, I better turn the camera off. <laughs> See ya.